Okay, finally we're going to be talking about the antifungals. And the target here is, of course, ergosterol, which can be found in the membrane. Um, so the main three we'll talk about are amphotericin B, the triazoles, and the icanocandins. So the amphotericin B is natural occurring, uh, which is and it's a fungus, fungicidal for most pathogenic fungi in humans, and this is the most effective, especially for systemic diseases, systemic problems, but it's also the most uh, toxic. Then we have the triazoles, which are synthetic antifungals. They are less toxic. For example, fluconazole, itroconazole, and voriconazole. And then the um, ikinocandins, which are the newer class uh, for invasive candidiasis. So this is an improved spectrum with less drug interactions and no dose modifications. Uh, an example here would be capsofungin. Capsofungin. So uh, let's move on and let's uh, explain it a little bit more. So concerning the triazoles, um, well, uh, we're talking about uh, candida septicemia in the ICU, in which case you would give fluconazole. Um, this would be for uh, hemodynamically stable or immunocompetent patients, um, and voriconazole would be given for aspergillosis. As you remember, aspergillosis from microbiology is a systemic uh, fungal disease where the you have branched fungi um, 45 degrees, um, branched hyphae, gosh, if I remember right, anyway. Um, then um, the next one is for itroconazole and this would be for invasive aspergillosis. So let's try to remember these and we'll go on to the last section. And I'm getting tired. I did not explain empiric treatment of neutropenia with a persistent fever. I don't really understand it, but it's written on the slide, so I'm putting it on my paper. So I guess I have to know it for the test. So anyway, let's talk about the next one. Okay, and so the last slide um, in this series is the icanocandins, and these these are a new class um, for invasive candidiasis. So that's what we have to remember for invasive candidiasis. And uh, so the example here, uh, or the drug we want to remember for the quiz, is caspofungin. Caspofungin. Can you say that backwards? No. So we've had a good review for this quiz, and uh, let's be ready to answer questions on the antifungals and uh, drugs for the endocrine system.